Hello, people. I am Jabby Coy, joined by my Instagram girlfriend, Tara Erickson. Hi, guys. That's just going to be the running joke. This is Bazaar, the official trailer with Saif Ali Khan, Rohan Mara, and Radhika A, along with Shit Rangda S. I was on a roll there and Oof, that just fell yeah. apart. But it's directed by Gaurav K. Chawla. Chakunya. Take advice, they don't. धीरे दौड़ जिंदगी एक मैराथन है कोई हंड्रेड मीटर स्प्रिंट नहीं वर्ल्ड बेस्ट मैराथन रनर का नाम बता और हंड्रेड मीटर चैंपियन यूसैन बोल करेक्ट मैराथन में दौड़ने वालों को कोई याद नहीं रखता दीपू मैं हूं रिजवान अहमद इलाहाबाद यूनिवर्सिटी का लौंडा शकुन कोठारी के साथ काम करना बड़ा आदमी बनना मेरा सपना है इस कमरे में ये कॉफी बेच के दिखा कॉफी बेच के देखा और जॉब ले ले बेचती सर खुद को स्ट्रगल करने नहीं सेटल होने टीम के हर नए खिलाड़ी के एक सीनियर खिलाड़ी उसका खुदा होता है शकुन कोठारी मेरा खुदा हार और जीत में एक ही फर्क होता है भूख मुझे सिर्फ प्रॉफिट में इंटरेस्ट है नोट का मालिक बनने के लिए उसे कमाना पड़ता है ऐसा उसका जो धंधा जानता हो और मैं हूं धन दोनों गंदो छोकर मन वचन अनिक आए थी मिच्चा में दुखड़ा शकुन अगर चांस नहीं देगा तो क्या होगा मैं दे रही हूं ना चांस मैं मुंबई आपके साथ काम करने आया था छोकर होशियार छे वेलकम टू मुंबई रिजवान अहमद मेरे जैसे बनने के लिए लाइन लाइन क्रॉस करने करती है। करो ये क्रॉस। याद रहे मेरी दो ही रूल 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 नंबर 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 मेरा पैसा कभी खोना नहीं और टू कभी भूलना नहीं तो चलता है मैं मैथ्स पर मजा उसे देश को वही पांच सात फैमिलीज चला रही हैं। टाटा बिरला रुया अंबानी वाडियास थोड़ा तो गेम चेंज होना चाहिए कोठारी Very interesting premise. Wow! One of the things I'm known for on my channel is comparing stuff, and especially to like American stuff. And I get in trouble for that sometimes because some people don't like that. Okay. I'm just gonna let you all know I'm I'm ready to do it already because it does remind me of things like uh, uh, what's the one with Michael Douglas, the stock market one, Wall Street. Uh -huh. And uh, Wolf of Wall Street. Wolf of Wall yeah, Street, um, yes, for sure. The Boiler Room, those kinds of films, but with this kind of. Actiony edge to it that those films didn't have. Those films were like high drama, but more of a, a kind of a mental stakes and, and a social status. Whereas this, it feels like there's a deeper edge to it. I don't know if it's more um, not malicious. That's not the word I'm looking for, but uh, sinister. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I don't know if I'm making sense, but well, like in the boiler room, they say like no coffee for closers. But I feel like I think that's a co quote. Something for closers. I yeah. think it's no coffee for closers. No coffee. Listen, o coffee's only for closers. For closers, yeah. exactly. Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross. This movie sounds like it would not say any of those words and just like shoot you if you don't close. <laughs> um, yeah. I think it looks like a blast, -a Rooney. Also, what's <laughs> up with the lead? being super fit, yeah. and I wouldn't normally say that I like a guy with a white stripe in his hair, but I'm just saying, after I got to see him on screen a few more times, I was like, he's pretty fit. Yeah. And somewhat handsome. Yes. <laughs> uh, so that's Saif Ali Khan that you're talking about with the strip through his hair. Okay. Um, or the stripe. Stripe, strip. Well, hello. Radhika Apte as well. She's the girl, the woman that's in the trailer. Beautiful. Um, Saif Ali Khan and Radhika Apte actually worked together in a web series for Netflix oh. called Sacred Games. They both did a phenomenal job in that web series together. Like, it's cool to see them again in this film. I, I didn't see them interacting at all in the trailer, but I'm sure they'll, they'll have some together. Is she the one together. that plays the young kid's girlfriend? Yeah, that girl, Her. that woman yes, right there. that says you yeah. should do stuff for me. Yeah. Cross the line. Yeah. Another one that it reminds me of is, um, this is gonna sound like a weird, 
take, but it almost it also reminds me of um, Hustle and Flow. Did you see Hustle and Flow? No, I didn't. So Hustle and Flow is about a guy who is just trying to make it big in the music industry. Okay. And he finally gets to meet his hero, but his hero turns out to be a total d bag, or I, as I like to say, tea bag. Oh, aren't you, know? you fun? Because he's a he's a big testicle. And they end up having this quarrel, this fight at the end of the movie, and he goes to jail. Here it's like. This guy just aspires to be just as great as his hero and he's gonna meet him and he's gonna realize something that I've actually realized, which is sometimes you don't wanna meet your heroes. Sometimes that's like the worst thing that can happen to you because you realize who they really are. They're human, They've, there's greed, there's flaws, and it really discolors what you initially felt about them before you knew them. It messes with you. I would say be your own hero. Yeah. Because then you can never let yourself down, right? And I do it all the time. But I'm just saying, that way I'm not going to go and meet somebody who I think is super cool and then be disappointed. I'm just going to try to be super, super cool all the ways, all the time. Right. That's what I think everybody should be doing. Be your own hero. Mm -hmm. I can make a song about it, you know, and then like sell it, right? Be, what's that hero song? I can be heroes. No, that's not it. That's fine. I just, maybe, be your own hero. See, I did it. Now everybody's gonna have that. They're gonna be like, be your own hero. Nobody's gonna have this weird stuff where they try to go seek out somebody and they're not good. Yeah. Well, what I like about it is it's showing you exactly why you shouldn't have someone else as your hero and yeah. you should be your own hero. And be like, your own. Uh, I mean, it's good to have things, people that you aspire to be like, but you have to be careful with that. And I think that's a great lesson that's that's being presented here because Saif Ali Khan is clearly like, we, we as the audience have the advantage of seeing everything going on inside and out before mm -hmm. the other main character does. And you see all the facets of this guy, both good and bad. And there's, it, there seems to be a lot of bad in there. He I does things. Forgiveness. Yeah, he does things just like the mafia. He's he's, uh, o he's only doing things in order to get what he wants. To gain. To, yeah. To gain because he's greedy and he's really good at that greed. I don't know if there's anything scarier than that. Like someone who's high up in the system and is really good at being greedy because he's able to take advantage of things and puppeteer everything, reality, to his advantage. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's. It's creepy, <laughs> it's scary. And at the same time, you've got this romance that brew is brewing between the young kid and, and Radhika Apte. Yeah, but it was weird that she said, can you cross the line like me? So I feel like the reason they put follow my rules in the trailer is that that's very telling. And he says like, don't lose my money. Number two, don't lose my money. Yeah. Is that I feel like he's gonna lose his money because he either gets distracted or maybe she wants him to cross the line because he now works for a very high powerful guy mm -hmm. so that maybe they can run off together. I don't know. But I also think this trailer should have saved the reveal of being like, clever boy, welcome to my business, and then just edit it around that without that line so that we're kind of not sure how he got into it. Mm. Now I'm like, oh, he was clever about it and he he sought his approval and then he was approved. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, they, they added in a lot of story to this. I know there's still gonna be so much more. <laughs> That's and it exactly still makes it say. very yeah. exciting. Yeah. But I'm like, oh, I wonder if maybe they didn't add that line in there. We just see the young boy like constantly seeking his hero's like attention mm -hmm. and being in his environment, but we're not quite sure if he ends up working for him. Yeah. As well as like being involved with this girl and what that means to cross the line. I have a feeling that things are going to go south hard in this yeah, movie, and yeah. this and the main kid's going to find himself in a lot in a world of hurt. I feel like this is going to be a very interesting film, to say the least. How this environment is going to negatively impact his relationship with his with his girl potentially. There's a lot you discover on your way to money. I feel like it's not even gonna affect his relationship with the girl. I feel like the girl is, she might be bad news bears. I feel like but, she might push him into something that's negative along with him already working for a not guy, nice guy and yeah. then the world is gonna crumble down okay. around him. Yeah, like she's like the, the devil in his ear telling him to do things that he shouldn't be doing. Yes, you but know? she still loves him at the same yeah. time. It's like Supposedly, I, you know, or she takes his money at the end. That's what like, I mean, cross you know? the line, get some money, let's run away together, and then she's like, bam, bye. Yeah, yeah exactly. The uh, don't, don't lose my money, don't lose my money line, that's a very uh, Chuck P. Kind of, kind of line from Fight Club. Oh you know, yeah, first rule of Fight <laughs> I was Club. Like, mm -hmm. Ch Chuck uh, Pol Polnick. Pol how do you say his name? Palinick. Palinick. Yeah, that guy. I think so. I'm, yeah. I've never, I, I didn't know how to do that, how to say his name correctly until today. I just want to have a line like that written for me, right? Number one, don't take my money. Number two, don't take my money. That's, but I want a, a different line. Right? I want to steal. I want to say, you guys, you can leave in the comments. Just say. Here's your line, and then now when I go do on my YouTube, I'll be like, number one, don't take my hot tamales. Number two, don't take my hot tamales. And yeah. then 
Eventually, after enough of me saying those lines together as though I'm a movie star, I'll get hired. Yeah. As a movie star. I, I think your line would be Pecora's. Don't take my Pecora. Yeah. And number two, don't mess up rule one, don't take my Pecora. Exactly. Boom. Yeah. You're welcome. The editing was very kinetic. And mm -hmm. so I didn't have a chance to really appreciate all the shots, but from what I can tell, it looks like it's also lit really well. Oh, like heck the, yeah. the DP did a great job from what I gather. Like there's some really neat shots in here. Well, it's fine if it borrows that kineticism in the editing, I hope that it does allow you to kind of appreciate a lot of these shots that are in here because it feels like the director and the DP work together to really craft each shot and say something with each of those shots. Right, you, know you mean, I mean like give it time with each shot that you're able to see it enough that it's not just like come and go very quickly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That the whole thing isn't just one long music video. One thing I wanna point out before I forget is the film seemed to like, it did unexpected things in terms of stuff we're familiar with. Like uh, sell me this coffee, right? Mm -hmm. And he goes, I just bought it. Yeah. Like, okay, well, I've never seen it, like I've never seen that response to that, but you know how you see these cliche lines come up a lot? It's right. like they had these cliche moments, but then they turned it on his head. They turned I, it. I was like, oh, okay, that's right. clever. But it made it harder for him, for the protagonist in the story, to actually sell himself his own coffee, because that's easy of like, okay, somebody's gonna give you a cup of coffee, and they're like, I'll just buy it for myself, but the guy spit in it. Yeah. So you wouldn't see him being like, well, how can I, how could we make it to where it's like, oh, where he drinks it and then is like, I actually did just sell it to myself because not only did I drink it, yeah. I like bought you that. Yeah. That was a whole thing. It, not only that, it I liked it. It uh, illustrates just how badly this guy wants in. Yo, he's, yeah. He's willing to drink spit coffee uh, just to get in the door. It literally made you know? me want to projectile vomit when I saw him drink it. But I feel like as artists or people who desire to be up there at the top of the pyramid with everybody else, it's like, you kind of end up doing that. Like yeah. you sell yourself and 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 do things that you formerly thought you weren't capable of doing that are that question your uh, own integrity and morals and, mm -hmm. and what you're comfortable with right. in order to get into the door. I agree. I, I think, think every day that goes by that doesn't bring you closer to that goal, if you are hungry, as this trailer would say, you're gonna let go of a lot of morality along the way. Yeah. If it's gonna get you to the top, yeah. which is sometimes why when you get up there, his hero is kind of like a monster, but like, mm. imagine how much hard work and time it took him to get to the place that he's at, yeah. that you formed uh, a bit of a monster, a bit of just like a rich jerk human being. And yeah. I'm sure there's a lot of good points to him, but you forget those along the way when you get to the top, I think. After Sacred Games, I'm definitely a big fan of Saif Ali Khan and Radhika Apte. Not just Sacred Games, but um, Lust Stories, Radhika Apte, that's another Netflix one that okay. Radhika Apte did. Of course, the horror one that she did, uh, what was that called again? You know what I'm talking about, the name escapes me right now, but she did a horror one on Netflix. I like her a lot, I think she's a great actress, and I think Saif, Saif Ali Khan is definitely a great actor, so I'm really looking forward to this. I like what? the stripe Ali Khan, I just had to add that in there. Yeah. That's him, right? Yeah, that's, that's his him. name? Yeah. Great, love yeah. it. You guys Guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Check out my Instagram girlfriend <laughs> on Instagram and YouTube. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out our other reactions, reviews, and short films. I'm Jabby Koi. This is Tara Erickson. Peace out.